cool. What's up guys? Welcome back to another statue unboxing and review. Today we have the Pulp Culture Shop or PCS Shadow Mukami, the Dictator exclusive. So let's get this thing unboxed and see what we got inside. We have uh, the Kami statue, a little picture. And on the side, we have a little bit of side action here of the statue, of course. On the back, same with a little bit of uh, you know information about this character. So this is the shadowed version. So this is the not this is not the normal version of Kami. This is the bad Kami. So um, yeah, so all box is pretty cool. So let's move on to the next part and go ahead and get her out and see what she's looking like. So we got the styrofoam out. This is not like the uh, last uh, piece that we unboxed from PCS. The uh, Chun-Li had the uh, straps, kind of like uh, XM does. This one is just the uh, tape around the uh, styrofoam. Um, the piece is a lot smaller, so it's probably not needed to have the straps, but it would be nice. So as always, let's go ahead and do some knife action. So we have uh, everything laid out here. Um, we have our base. And then we have our cape at the bottom, behind the base, or below the base. And then we've got a couple of the shorter pieces. We switch out torso here legs another torso and her head so let's go ahead and uh go ahead and just pull this out head scope all right so i'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out laid out here um, we have our certificate of authenticity from uh, PCS so let's go ahead and get this thing together so we have our little legs here and there's a little peg at the bottom a little key which of course slots right down here just line that up pretty easy and basically the next is we'll just go with uh, portrait or a torso like so and you know what let's go ahead and throw the cape on so the cape has these like little slits here of course uh, which basically go right here on the top of the torso here there's little magnets for the shoulder pads so let's go ahead and just set that up so if you're gonna use the cape, this is how you're gonna do it. So you have this with the little um, magnets, just like that. Same on this side. And then you have the head sculpt magnet on top. Uh, basically together. Let's go ahead and kind of pose this cape up a little bit. Alright. So she's in pose one. 
there's really four different different poses that you can uh, pose her in with the with and without the cape on all torso options. So I think uh, with this version, she looks pretty good with the cape. The other version, which is with her arms crossed, or not her arms crossed, but her arms down to her side and then across the chest there. I think this is more like a fighting pose, so if you take the cape off when she's getting ready to whoop some ass. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch yeah. that over. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. This pose without the cape. Or capeless. So let's switch that. So like so. Kind of ready to fight pose. Yeah, to me, I think it looks better if you're gonna use the cape uh, with the arms outwards like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a few minutes, take a look at this piece, and come back with a review. portion of this uh, statue I think you know overall for the size of it it's actually it's pretty nice I mean it's painted okay I mean it's got a little bit of um, overlapping lines like you know where her, her you know her leg shields are um, it's not too terrible but you can you know definitely see it especially like right through here um, but uh, you know if it, that was the only nitpick thing that I would have it would definitely be the paint on it. it's not the best the definition on the muscle is pretty cool uh, going up the legs I and mean, there's not much that you can see it's just you know kind of leg shields and then her little you know stockings with the little red there's a little bit of paint markup going up here I mean that's not you know painted the best but you know the lines aren't terrible like I said before um, onto the back part you know you have her her gluteus you know just kind of just like Chun Li uh, <laughs> you know it's all about uh, you know the bottom half there I know you guys are gonna like that some of the ladies will too but you know it's uh, done very well um, where the costume comes into play you know you can definitely see you know where you know the paint is kind of not the best on the back half uh, I think what's done well on this piece is the actual uh, back muscles where you have like you know the lats you know the shading on that's done really well a little area in there could be a little bit nicer but you know it's not terrible you know, I keep saying that but you know, it's not but uh, the hands are done well I like the pose on the hands one of the best parts about it of course is you know the head sculpt the you know, head sculpt is, is pretty cool you got all the you know the markings that you know Cammy has on, on the side of her face the little scars there um, the lipstick or lips have that little glossy kind of finish to it the eyes are done well I think the hair is done also very well you have her bang that comes out to the side and then you have her pigtails coming off to the back which are you know 
have a little bit of movement to them so just got to be careful to not break them off I'm not, I'm not sure if they're 100 percent sculpted well actually you can actually see where they've been uh you know i guess inserted into the, the head sculpt here there's a little bit of glue uh, back there if you can pick that up so these, those definitely aren't uh you know sculpted together and i'll get uh better close-ups of that in the picture section let me go ahead and switch it out to the uh, other portrait so you guys can see that with the cape on it because this way like i said before i think this um without the cape looks best and I think the other uh, portrait with the cape looks better. So kind of just like how the box is here. Yeah. Okay, so switched it up and this is the pose with, you know, the arms out, outstretched and then the cape. Definitely adds a different look to the piece. I think it's pretty cool. Um, like I said before, I think the other one is my favorite, but this is pretty cool if you want to just kind of switch it up. I think this is the um, regular, so if you're not uh, slated to get the exclusive, um, which is this, you know, I think it's not that bad. I mean, for me, I wanted both. I like this one um, a lot as well. I mean, the anatomy or female anatomy of, of this uh, statue is on point. Um, with this, it hides the, you know, the body, um, but you can kind of pose the cape to kind of show off a little bit more, but, um, I like the you know, arms outstretched to the side. You can see, you know, the front, uh, part of the statue, uh, quite nicely. And then, um, you know, I think the musculature on, uh, her arms on this one are just as good as the other one. Um, you can definitely see kind of a little definition through her biceps here. I forgot to talk about the hat. The hat is done very well on this piece. Um, you can see the little indentation there for like the seam. Um, you have the Shadowloo emblem up front and then I think that is just sculpted and looks very, very like leather. So I just wanted to kind of give you a quick little showcase on the, left, on the hat there. Probably one of the nicest things on this piece. Kind of a quick kind of statue review. I'm not used to these because I'm used to putting in a bunch, putting together a lot of parts. And this one is just two torsos and a little base and then the legs go in and that's it. So um, this is the way that I, well, more than likely uh, display her, but you know, I like to have options. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this uh, a max score of uh, eight, about an 8.0. I'm thinking and the only reason why I say that is due to the the paint that little bit of lines like I said before that are not painted very smoothly but the actual statue the pose and the actual sculpt is done very well and uh, you know you can definitely tell that it's uh, you know cami so uh, if you're a Street Fighter fan I definitely think it's worth picking up and the statue price isn't terrible um, and then if you can't get the exclusive which is this then you get the other uh, outstretched uh, arms torso which is not bad either so it's definitely worth a pickup so um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video out with uh, some close-up shots of uh, this statue I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video please like comment and subscribe and share this video with all your buddies and I'll see you guys in the next one peace